In 2009, the Harpua Whenua Viaduct celebrated 100 years since it was first opened for business. But 2009 also celebrates the year it reopened, after a costly four-year restoration job. The problem was the sheer size of the task. Some 300 metres long and 47 metres high, the viaduct was abandoned over 20 years ago, when a new viaduct was built nearby for modern heavier trains. The restoration was designed to turn the old viaduct into a walk and cycleway through the Tongariro National Park. This started for us about three years ago, I guess, that Sarah and I um, had the idea that we would push this project along. We had already, there's been a lot of people in Dock over the years and in the community that have wanted to restore the viaduct. Money's always been the problem. Um, and so we sort of sat down and decided that we really wanted to push it along. And um, that's when Sarah and I started mulling over what we could possibly do to make money and, and start this. And the bit that I remember most is that I'd heard about the Start Trust and didn't know how to contact them. And uh, quite honestly, found myself on a bus sitting beside Mike from the Start Trust. Found out just while talking to him, it just so happened that he was a trustee of the Start Trust. And so we were able to talk to him about the project. So it meant that when we put the application in, we already had a supporter. Um, and the Stout Trust gave us the, the initial 75,000. And so we've gone from 75,000, we just kept managing to get it matched, and we ended up with 800,000 and a completed viaduct for people to walk and bike on. The most obvious task was the new decking, on either side of newly placed second-hand sleepers. 950 of them. A mammoth task for those with a good head for heights. And the volunteers have been continuously out here doing some pretty uh, um, unappealing jobs <laughs> from time to time. <laughs> and it's just, it, it's, I think it's a place that gets under your skin.